Hey, honey. Are you in your room? I left work as soon as you messaged me. Oh, honey. You look exhausted. Why didn't you tell me sooner? I would have stayed home. No, of course you aren't being a bother, baby girl. Come on. I'm more than happy to stay home and take care of you. That's what boyfriends are for, right? You're always my number one priority, honey. I'll drop everything for you, always. Please don't treat yourself like a burden. Here, let me check your temperature real quick. Ah, there you go, put it under your tongue. Yeah, just like I thought. You have a fever, baby. Here, lay back down. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, well, it sounds like you've got some kind of stubborn cold. Well, this is the time of year where things start going around, you know. Oh, honey, you're shivering. Here, pull these blankets further up. There. That's better. Is that pillow comfortable enough? Oh, come on. Don't apologize, girl. Of course I'm going to take the rest of the day off work. Look at you. You're miserable. And you're shivering, and you could barely sit up earlier. Oh, no, don't be silly. You know I can't bear to see you distressed like this. Come on. You know, besides, I'll look for any excuse to cut work, especially on days when Shannon is there. But not that I didn't also want to come home, because I love taking care of you. It's just... I really don't like Shannon. <laughs> Anyways, let's leave work at work, yeah? Mm, your hair is a little damp from the sweat, honey. Here, let's brush it over to the side. You want me to braid it for you? Mm, okay. I'll put it in a loose braid for you just to keep it out of your face. There we go. What was that way that you taught me to do it before? Okay, you separate it into three and then you fold under. <laughs> you know, I never really had anyone that I could practice this on. I don't have a sister or anything, and, you know, my hair is kind of short, so. Ah, there we go. That's better. Now, let's get you a towel with some cool water to lay on your forehead, okay? It'll cool you down a bit. That fever is a little too high. Okay, lay down and wait for me to get back, okay? Okay, here. I've got this water bowl here. I'll leave it on the table so I can change your towel out, okay? And let's set this towel right here on your forehead. Don't shake it off, okay? Oh, it's not uncomfortable. Stop. You'll like it when it's on you. It'll make you feel better. There you go. See? I told you. <laughs> You look 
looks so pretty, even when you're not feeling well. That warm flush on your cheeks and your deep breaths. The way your chest rises and falls. Oh, stop. You do too look pretty. I mean it. Prettiest girl I've ever seen. Yes, honey. The moment I laid my eyes on you, I knew I had to make you mine. Couldn't let you slip away. You're too perfect. I couldn't let anyone else have you. Sorry, Ani. I'm very selfish. No one else can take care of you the way I can. The way you deserve to be taken care of. And you know that too, which is why you grumble and you mumble and you put up a fight. But you always let me take care of you anyways, don't you? <laughs> Good girl. Well, what do you mean I didn't have to do all this? Of course I did. Because you'd do the same for me, wouldn't you? No matter how much I protested and said I was fine. Besides, taking care of you is one of my favorite things to do for you. Besides, taking care of you is one of my favorite things to do for you. And you're much easier to handle when you're sick and don't have as much energy. Normally you're such a brat, you never listen to me, even when I know best. Oh, don't give me that look. You know what? I know what's going on. Mm-hmm. You're starting to get hangry, aren't you? I bet you haven't had anything to eat all day. Yeah, I'm right, aren't I? How about I make you some chicken noodle soup? Yeah. I think we have some saltine crackers in the kitchen, too. Yeah, does that sound good? Okay. I'll go get it started. Hmm? No, you're staying right here. No, you can still talk to me, honey. The kitchen is right across from your room. You can see me with the door open, you goofball. I guess I should go to the store and get some medicine for you, huh? Mm. What kind do you usually take for a cold? Mm. Okay. I'll see what they have when I go later. There we go. Mm. Yeah. There it is. There we go. Mmm, smells really good. Can I have some? All right, all right, fine. I'm not taking any. I'm using the spoon to stir it. Relax. Oh, wait, where's that, um, that thing that you put in there to make it taste really good last time? What was it again? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's what it was. That's, that's genius. I never would have thought of that. I mean, I'm not really good at cooking, but even if I was, I probably wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Hey, you remember a couple years ago when I got, like, super sick with, um, uh, illness that shall not be named? You made me, uh, chicken noodle soup with saltine crackers, because it was my favorite, like, sick in bed meal, and, and now we just kind of keep returning the favor back and forth. Isn't that sweet, honey? I, I, no, no, that's, I mean, that's not how, how I remember it. I don't remember, like, begging you to make it for me. Or anything like that. I don't know where you got that from. But uh, whatever it happened, however it happened, um, you ended up making it for me. And I really think that I fell in love with you all the way when, when you did that. That was when I knew, I think. 
I know it's uh, not really the same when I do it because it's you know from a can because uh, I'm not really the best at cooking but I hope that you can feel just how much I love you when you eat it mm, okay I think that's good I think it's done and here I'm even gonna put it in one of our nice bowls that's how much I love you you get a nice bowl <laughs> All right, here. I'll put it on your bedside table, okay? What? What, did you think I was gonna feed it to you? <laughs> okay, okay, I know, I know. I'm not, I won't baby you that much. Make sure you eat it all, okay? You need to feed your body so it can have enough energy to fight off whatever nasty cold you've picked up. And I'm not going to leave until you eat it all. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. This is the least I can do. Come on. Don't feel like you need to apologize for me taking care of you, okay? It, it's not an inconvenience or anything. I love caring for the woman that lights up my life, so... Please let me do this. Hmm? Is it good? I know it's not anywhere close to your cooking, but I... Oh, okay, well, that's good. Let me know when you're done and I'll go wash the dishes, okay? Okay, all clean. How are you feeling? Oh, honey. Your sheets are all sweaty. That can't be very comfortable. Here, let me change them for you real quick so you can get comfortable and take a little nap, all right? No, no, no. It'll be real quick, okay? All right, here. Scooch up real quick. Let me get my arms under your back so I can carry you to the chair. Yeah, well, I changed the sheets. Um, no, absolutely not. You're sick as a dog. I'm not going to let you get up and move around on your own. Not while I'm around. No, no, mm -mm. no, no. All right, here we go. I'm lifting you now. I'm li and <laughs> Come here. <clears throat> Good girl. You know, it's interesting. There's some pretty solid science behind the idea that it's fundamentally impossible to be bratty when you're being princess carried by your boyfriend <laughs> you just instantly become baby girl that's adorable <laughs> see instead of being mean to me you're being all shy and burying your face in my shoulder <laughs> it's like picking up a cat by the back of their neck they just kind of like shut down all right, all right, all right. I'll sit you down. I'll sit you down. Here. There. Okay, I'll go put the old sheets in the washer and get some new ones from the laundry room. There you 
There we go. All right. I'll be right back. There we go. Nice and clean. You always fold the laundry so nicely. Oh, very funny. I don't fold things that badly. Come on. Oh, this last corner is always so hard to stay on. No, I don't need any help. I can do it. Ah, and voila. Clean sheets. Come here, I'll tuck you in. There we are. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Yeah, much more comfy. Do you think you'll be able to fall asleep now? Good. Wait, of course you can't fall asleep like this. You're so right, honey. I haven't even made you your nighttime sleepy tea. How silly of me. <laughs> I'll put the teapot on real quick. Okay, I'll let that get hot. You know, that pink rose lemonade tea? That actually tastes really good. You know, I don't really care much for tea, but I actually really like that one. Well, I, I actually prefer tea without the caffeine in it, because I drink a bunch of other stuff during the day that has caffeine, but... Um, Oh, well, I like having evening tea time with you too, honey. That's also part of the reason I like the caffeine-free kind. <laughs> oh, oh, was that a yawn? Oh, is, is someone get, is someone getting EB? <laughs> no, no, don't shake yourself awake, you goof. You're supposed to be getting tired. Oh, I'll be right back. I promise I won't oversteep it this time. Yes, I know how long to keep it in there. Until you tell me to take it out. <laughs> All right, fine, you do it. Here. Oh, you're welcome, honey. Hopefully with some good food and some rest, you'll start to feel a little better soon. You know, as fun as it is to take care of you like this, I want my sweet girl to have her energy back. I'm not the type of person to worry, but I am just a little bit worried about you. Does it taste good? Not oversteeped. <laughs> good. Oh, are your eyelids getting all droopy? <laughs> oh, really? Not tired? Not even a little? Alright. You leave me no choice. I know it will really knock you out. <clears throat> the Hobbit, a journey through Middle Earth. You never make it five seconds through the opening part where it talks about the Shire and the Hobbits without falling asleep. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Ah, oh, and she's out. 
Told you. Well, I guess there can't really be any I told you so's when you're sleeping. Unless you're just pretending to go to sleep so I'll go away. You better not be. That would be very rude, young lady. Oh no, you're out cold. <laughs> Better soon, sweet girl. I love you. You know, you look really cute when you're asleep. 